The economic survey is out. The monsoon session in the parliament has begun today and ahead of the budget, Nirmala Sitaraman presented the economic survey. It is a very crucial document because it lays out the economic position of the country. The budget is also a troubled one for the Modi government this year because it also has to accommodate the wishes of its alliance partners Nitish Kumar and Chandra Babu Naidu. However, economists expect that this budget will be a positive one with the government receiving record dividends from PSUs and RBI. Coming back to the economic survey, let's quickly understand what it is and what were the key highlights of the survey presented today. In simple terms, economic survey is a survey conducted to look at the financial developments of the country in the last financial year. It helps the government to analyze the trends in different sectors like infrastructure, agriculture, production, import, export and more. So by this, you can now understand that this survey largely influences the union budget. It also talks about both the economic challenges that India faces and analyzes the previous financial year of the country. It is prepared under the supervision of the chief economic advisor. Who is the current chief economic advisor of India? Let us know in the comments if you know and if you don't, wait till we reveal the answer in the end of the video. Now moving on to what the economic survey said about the country's economic position and what were the key highlights of the survey. Starting with the first part, an overview of the economy. Global economic growth has been 3.2% in 2024 as per the April World Economic Outlook. Indian economy carry forwarded the momentum of FY23 into FY24 despite a gamut of external challenges. India's real GDP growth grew by 8.2% in FY24. Gross fixed capital formation increased by 9% in real terms in 2023-24. This is the money invested in creating assets to increase production. Inflation, however, is a key concern as it is globally due to delay in monsoons and supply chain disruptions. However, retail inflation declined to 5.4% in FY24 from 6.7% in FY23. Core inflation also declined to 4 years low. However, food prices are still under pressure globally. Food inflation has increased to 7.5% in FY24 from 6.6% in FY23. Rural to urban inflation gap was also seen as inflation was more pronounced in rural areas than in the urban areas. The fiscal balances of the government have also improved. CAD stood at 0.7% of the GDP in FY24, an improvement from the deficit of 2% of the GDP in FY23. India's banking sector and financial so showcased strong performance in FY24 with NPAs reaching multi-year lows. Stock markets also witnessed a bull run with India's market capitalization to GDP ratio becoming the fifth largest globally. Now this was the overview of the economy. The forecast for the current fiscal year. Real GDP growth in the document says that will be around 6.5% to 7%. Headline inflation is expected to be around 4.5% in FY25 as per RBI. Indian economy is on a strong wicket and on a stable footing, RBI said. The survey said that in FY23, the unemployment rate has declined to 3.2%. Coming to the challenges, key things that the government's growth strategy has for Amrit Kal or things that the government will overcome in this term includes first, boosting private investment, second, growth and expansion of India's MSMEs, Third, recognizing potential of agriculture as an engine of future growth. Fourth, secure financing for green transition. Fifth, bridging the gap between education and employment. And sixth, focus on building state capacity and capability. The budget is expected to boost consumption and reduce the burden on the middle class and also create jobs to improve unemployment through manufacturing and MSME boost. Hope you understood the content of the economic survey. For more such news and views, keep watching TV Now.
if you like this video then like share and subscribe to ET now